fly ball, deep left field. There it goes. See ya. Number 57. Is now the time to invest in Aaron Judge? Thanks for tuning in, beautiful people. Today, we are going to be taking a deep dive into the Aaron Judge market and answer the question, should you be investing in Aaron Judge? What are my thoughts on the Judge market? And then finish off by reviewing the top 10 Aaron Judge rookie cards that you should be adding to your collection if you are in the market for the all-rise rookie card. But if you are new here, regardless, if you're an investor, flipper, or an investor, thank you for stopping by. Here I cover graded card reveals, primarily from PSA, mail days, and financial breakdowns, market analysis, and hobby news. So again, if you like this content, like and subscribe. Look, Aaron Judge is doing something that we haven't seen cleanly since 1998. And boy, was 1998 a good year. That's the year that Slammin' Sammy and Big Mac McGuire took baseball and my heart by storm because that's how I got into baseball. And the world by storm, for that matter, by chasing down Roger Maris, juice to the nines, hitting bombs left and right. Well, Aaron Judge pretty much popped out of the womb as a ginormous human specimen, and it's presumed that the man is 100% clean because he's just huge. And because he's huge, he's been blasting Yankee stadium home runs all year long. And while he is currently sitting on 57 home runs at the time of this recording, he does have a legit chance at breaking the clean record of 61 set by Roger Maris. So with that, what will that do to the judge market? Well, I predict that we won't see the same impact that McGuire and Sosa had on the card market as the market for cards is completely different now than it was in 1998. 1998 was a magical year. We saw McGuire's 1985 Tops rookie nearly 10x during that season. You got to remember the Bulls just won a championship. They were transitioning over into baseball, Midsummer Classic, Slamming Sammy, Chicago's going crazy, St. Louis is going crazy, division rivals, and they're just blasting bombs back and forth, left and right. It was a magical, magical year. But with that, it is different. The judge market is more complicated and complex, riddled with numerous rookies across multiple years. It wasn't just the Leaf Sosa rookie or the traded, or, or sorry, the Topps McGuire rookie. There's a lot more rookies in the judge market. Some of these rookies are autographed, some of them not. This complication and lack of simplicity makes newcomers somewhat confused on what to buy. And for those reasons, it's really difficult to say that one card or the other will go up more so than the overall Aaron Judge market as a whole. So my prediction is that yes, you probably should have been buying Aaron Judge before the All-Star break while you were witnessing this historic pace. Despite the injury history of Aaron Judge, it's been known that in the baseball world that a historic season, a single historic season, does in fact move the needle in cards. So you should have jumped on a long time ago. But now that we're in August, Prices are at a multi-year high for Judge. They're not going to be the McGuire or Sosa level, but they have moved, and it's the overall Judge market that is moving. But is there still more in the tank to squeeze? Well, I actually think that yes, the answer is yes. And mainly that's as it relates to grading. Judge remains a primary target of mine to grade and then flip. Given that Judge will finish this season on the highest of highs, that almost all always trends into an epic hype leading into the following spring training. So at the very minimum, my prediction is, is that Aaron Judge is a phenomenal short-term play leading into spring training of 2023. The only potential issue that I see here is that off-season contract negotiations and where Judge will land. If Judge does eventually leave New York, he's likely to see a 10% pullback at a minimum immediately, unless the move is to a team like the Dodgers, Giants, Braves, or some other highly collected organization. 
Now, it's not just the rookies that one should go after. This judge has plenty of short prints and variations to chase from non-rookie years. And if you are concerned like I am about today's overprinting and superfluous amounts of parallels, etc., you can always go with the tried and true on-card autographs as the athletes are only going to sign so many cards, or at least they're only going to agree to sign so many cards. And from an investment standpoint, the right sets and the right on-card ink can go a long way to maintain value in a collection. But enough on the market. I now want to talk about the top 10 rookie cards that you should be looking to add to your collection if you want to invest in Aaron Judge. And for this list, I'm only going to be focusing on non-autograph cards, but I am going to be covering short prints. So stay tuned, buckle up, and let's jump into it. All right, we've saved our best for last as we bring you the top 10. All right, guys, coming in at number 10, we have the 2013 Bowman Chrome Draft Picks and Prospects, Aaron Judge. Yes, many people would not consider this a rookie card, but that's because they subscribe to new rookie card rules, which I do not subscribe to. This is an OG rookie card, arguably one of the better ones on the list if you really want to get down to it. But this is a card that is a must on every single Aaron Judge PC collection. I've graded a couple of these, uh, not any recently, but we're really looking at a card here that is uh, just a beauty. It's his first MLB licensed card that's a base card. Came in the Bowman Chrome Draft Picks and Prospects set. There is an autograph version of this. PSA 10s around 1100 and you can see the trend on this card really shooting up all the way to $480. I mean, this is an all-time high right now, guys. Uh, even just looking at the bubble, we are even way past the uh, uh, bubble from uh, the pandemic. This is just a testament to what can happen in the card market and what can be uh, lit on fire just with one epic season. So this is a strong, strong start coming in at number 10. Jumping over to number nine, we actually have Aaron Judge's first card from 2017, uh, Tops. This is one of his short prints, so not the base card, card number 287. This is actually the SP leaning on the rail. This is a card that has a PSA 10 population of 201. And again, you can see this is what I would consider a great deal. Considering there is only 200 of these in gem mint condition, you do see, do see quite a number of these that end up uh, coming up for sale uh, raw and graded the fact that there's only 200 gem mint copies out there i think this is a great price or a great bargain all things considered and it is from the very first flagship set release meaning there are multiple releases of these sets that come out like tops update that i'll talk about a little bit later on but this is the very first set it's a rookie card in that set and it is the short print version coming in at number eight and this is one that is a little bit more obscure for sure. This is the Topps uh, number opening day, a smiling variation. So this is a base card that, again, came out in Topps opening day. Opening day typically follows Topps uh, Series 1 in terms of releases. And this is a card that is extremely rare. Card number 71, the smiling variation. It's a horizontal release. You can just see the car, the uh, amount of these that are actually graded. Only three PSA 10s. This is arguably the rarest Aaron Judge card on this list that is part of a base set. These cards rarely, rarely come up. Six PSA 9s and one PSA 8. Have to really wonder if these things are just buried out there in packs or what's going on. But this is a card that rarely comes up. If you do happen to get one of these, snag it because you may never see another one. The only thing really holding this card back is the fact that it's just so obscure. Nobody really has a chance to look at it or talk about it. Now, this is a rare one to add to the list. Coming in at number seven, we have the 2017 Topps Sapphire Edition Aaron Judge. And I was very reluctant to include this on the list because this is a card that whenever it came out got no love. I've talked about this in previous videos. It wasn't really until uh, Ronald Acuna Jr.'s bat down in 2018 made this card or made the set Sapphire what it is today. And because of that trend picking up, people were going back to previous years in 2017 and of course picking up the Aaron Judge. So this is a card that was not hot whenever it came out. It was not uh, considered even better than some of the top chrome parallels but that has clearly changed now 
I'm not very much so a fan of those types of traditions changing all of a sudden on the fly. I understand that things do change over time. That's why I'm ranking this much lower. I don't treat Sapphire with the same prestige as many others do across the hobby. The gem population is low, so good luck finding a PSA 10. There's only 39 of them out there. The most recent sales of this card, uh, according to PSA's data, it only goes back to 2020. Now, surely there's been more on eBay. This is a card that's definitely a four-figure card today. Uh, it's a beautiful card basically the exact same image of his tops chrome and also top series one uh, many people don't really like the image that's why they've dogged this compared to the ronald acuna jr bat down but i don't know i'm I, i'm a traditionalist i like the image i like that they kept it the same as series one and tops chrome but again coming in it does crack the top seven Moving on to number six. This is one that I actually debated dropping down on the list because uh, this is from Topps Update. Now, again, if a, if a player has already had a Topps release previously, then Topps Update is not a card to really go after. They've already had a rookie card in a Topps flagship product, whether it's Top Series 1, Top Series 2. So really, this is the, the third Topps flagship release that comes out every year. He's already had a flagship release in Series 1. So the only thing that had, that's really going for this card is that this version the bat on left shoulder version is a short print and the gem mint population is at 33 so there's not that many of them out there uh, but i will say this is a card that i would get if you have a chance to get um, unfortunately psa has a couple of these that uh, aren't pulling in appropriately they're pulling in the regular one the bat on the left shoulder is a rare super super short print again the way that these cards are going and the way super super short prints are trending i would definitely snag one of these especially if you're able to pick it up raw or in graded condition because you may or may not be able to see these uh, in the future. Coming in at number five, and this is one of my favorite ones on the list, this is the Topps Chrome running variation. So there are uh, variations within Topps Chrome. He has the regular uh, one card number 169, but he also has a variation where he is running. And this card is what is considered a, a SP or, or variation. So... Um, Population PSA 10, 149. The card is trending up to above that 500 to 600 mark as of uh, the most recent data. I think that that is a, a steal, to be perfectly honest. There's only 150 PSA 10s out there. It's chrome and it's shiny. We can look at some of the graphs here. That thing is just trending upwards, baby. All the way up, just like his home run historic pace is picking up. Uh, his card market is as well. And we can just flip, flip through here. There are parallels to this card as well. I've graded some of these. I've graded actually the orange refractor as a PSA 10 previously. So back in 2017, when it was the summer of all rise, this was a staple card that I definitely targeted. But you have also have to be careful. There's a lot of surface scratches on this card. Uh, 2017 was overall clean, but if you're seeing raw cards out there now, you got to be suspect of why it's raw. Um, but again, less than 150 PSA 10s, it's definitely a top five for me. Coming in at number four, and this is one of my favorites by far, probably one of my favorite Aaron Judge cards because it's one of my favorite sets. Uh, Aaron Judge in the dugout Bowman Chrome Rookie. Now, you could argue that the 2013 is the real Bowman Chrome Rookie. There is a card in 2017 that has the rookie logo, but there's also a variation to that card, which is what this card is. And if we look at the PSA 10 population, I have graded two of these as a PSA 10 in my history. We have less than 100 PSA 10s out there in existence. And this card is trending up, baby. We are just going straight up to the moon. It is straight up curves. And this is a, just a beautiful card. The design of this, this card is very sleek and clean. It has borders. Um, and the cards were just cut very, very nicely. Now, you do have to look at centering left to right. A couple of the examples here, they honestly don't look all that well centered. So if you submitted some of these cards today, uh, they may have actually uh, uh, tightened up their standards a little little bit uh, you may not get those gems and that may be what's keeping gems less than a hundred but uh, this is a trend that uh, Bowman Chrome, uh, at least tops with Bowman Chrome, continue to do is introduce variations in short print image variations into the Bowman Chrome rookie logo set to add a little bit more value. I'm a huge fan of that. They also did that with uh, Shohei Otani a year later, as well as some of the other rookies in 2019, 2020, etc. These cards are just cut very, very clean. Um, love it. Uh, really cool set. Great photography. Great shine to it. This is definitely one of my favorite Aaron Judge rookies out there. 
Coming in at number three, we have the Topps Heritage Action, and it's really not action, it's really called Topps Heritage Rookie, uh, Aaron Judge. They didn't have an action version, they just called them rookies. This is from the 1968 Topps Heritage throwback set, and if you all remember, 1968 had dual rookies. Many people were speculating whether or not they would keep those dual rookies, because if you pair a good rookie with someone who stinks, it no, doesn't really do a lot for the card. So, thank goodness Topps actually had a standalone card here, and it was basically like an action version or an action parallel now, for those that are familiar with the Topps Heritage set. And this is a short print. There's estimated to be around two to 3,000, at least that's the estimated print runs for the most part every single year. Two to 3,000 of these out there in existence. You can see PSA 10 population is down to 334. So there probably is 2,000 and that's it. Now, B Beckett at the time was still somewhat relevant. So uh, there's some of those that are floating around in Beckett holders. And now there's a couple floating around in some of the newer holders. But less than 2,000 is the way to go. And this is a card that everybody, for the most part, really likes. This is one of the prime uh, periods for Topps Heritage rookie logos. Uh, those were actually all the rage before Flagship was the rage, to, to be honest. Um, that, that trend has definitely changed. But still, this is a card to go after. Uh, great image, uh, beautiful photography, and it has that classic 1968 tops. Burlap is back, baby. Uh, I like going after this card. You don't see these cards pop up that much anymore. I got outbid on one recently. So um, card has shot up to almost 700 over $800 in the past couple of months. This baby definitely is in the top Aaron Judge Coming in at number two, we are going back to Topps opening day, and this time we're going back to the super, super short print. And this is going to be card number 147, Aaron Judge with the bat. There's a population, a PSA 10 population of... 11 and yes i was one of the ones that graded one of these back in the day and i believe the one that i'm showing on the screen is actually my example from my cell via consignment uh, i have to go back and double check the serial numbers but this is a card that was hot back then and maybe it's scorching hot now and it's just because you cannot find this card it is incredibly rare the ones that you see on ebay are going to be priced accordingly because uh, good luck finding them uh, not only in any condition but also psa 10 condition so uh, beautiful cards uh, he's just holding the bat you know nothing super super special about the card outside of it just being a super super short print so this is definitely going to be in the top two aaron judge rookie cards that you have to get in your collection now, before we jump into the number one card, I do want to give some love to some honorable mentions because in this list, obviously, it's going to be dominated by super, super short prints and also uh, variations within the base set, and not everyone can afford those or obtain those, so I do want to cover... Four honorable mentions for cards that are still obtainable to all collectors of every single uh, disposable income level, including entry-level collectors. So I uh, do want to give some of these cards some love. So as we're going through these, not really going to show anything up on the screen outside of some of the stuff that we see on PSA's database. And the first honorable mention is going to be Aaron Judge's Topps Finest Rookie. Yes, Shiny Shine is going to get some love here. Looking at a PSA 10 card uh, that has a population still less than 1,000, for the most part, these cards were clean you got to be suspect of them nowadays though definitely have to inspect them just to see how they look but 948 psa 10 population psa 10s can run you right around 100 bucks or so uh, which is not a bad deal now those have been uh, tricking uh, trending up in the right uh, positive direction so depending on when you're getting it you may be paying well over 100 bucks 100 to 200 just depending on what aaron judge does over the next couple of weeks this is a card that historically was in that 20 to 30 to 40 dollar range and it was honestly a bread and butter card that i was grading even back in 2017 when grading fees were still relatively inexpensive but if you want a shiny rookie of Aaron Judge in high grade with less than a thousand pop this is a great 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 purchase highly highly recommend this one moving on to the next one so we are going into Topps Chrome I'm very surprised that PSA does not have the PSA 10 Topps Chrome here listed uh, with an image but they have the finest one very very bizarre population of 4500 that's right baby they did not hold back on printing Topps Chrome Topps Chrome is a low end release despite all the pumpers out there trying to pump 2022 Topps Chrome side note not going down that road how you doing keep it moving we are doing PSA 10s in the 300 range as of today so despite there being 4,500 of them, these PSA 10s are cracking $300, which to me is just mind-boggling. 
I've got to see these graphs down here. Look at the movement. You guys saw this was the number one card in my hot list for September, and the needle has continued to move. Before the card was in the 230 range, we're seeing sales over $300 now, guys. 4,500 PSA 10s out there. This guy isn't Patrick Mahomes. He doesn't have an optic rookie with a population of 3,500 that's selling for $1,000. This is Aaron Judge. Aaron freaking Judge and freaking in baseball but his tops chrome rookie is pulling in the numbers and it is trending higher and higher and higher you can still get these raw in the 35 to 40 range great card to grade whether or not that remains to be seen moving forward i would not invest in this card at all but right now it is scorching hot um, and it is one that you should add to your collection at some point whenever the prices become more affordable the next card that I'm going to be looking at is probably one of my favorites on this list of honorable mentions. And the reason why is the backstory behind this card. So Topps Archives 2017, Aaron Judge card number 62. This is going back to one of those throwback designs. Uh, the reason why this is important for me is because of the population report of this card. If you actually look at this card, centering top to bottom, whenever I'm saying top to bottom, if you look at, at in the horizontal landscape, it's actually left to right. That centering was always usually really good but whenever you're looking at top to bottom centering as I'm moving the cursor on the screen that centering was always really really bad if you are familiar with the grading this card you know exactly what I'm talking about these cards were notoriously out of the pack off centered so good luck getting gems on these I only have a handful now the gem rate is actually pretty high whenever you look here we've got 483 but you can see just how many nines are out there 866 and then some that are even worse than that so this card was a card that brought a huge premium back in the day especially whenever the population was right around that 100 to 200 range yes gems did come flowing in but there's a lot of nines handed out at a very high rate that's why we have a very low gem rate for our low population card on what looks to be very easy card stock to grade but that's the backstory with this card in addition to that the very beautiful throwback 1950 era uh, i can't remember what is this 57 tops i can't 57 758 i get them mixed up i don't know i have somebody fact check me on that i'm not a vintage guy but it's beautiful love cardstock tops did a great job with it and psa 10s again as we flip through here you'll see some of these that actually are borderline off center um that end up uh did end up squeezing out a psa 10 grade so um if you see some of the ones that are raw they're likely raw because they are off center so feel free to go through and take a look at some of those Last but not least, we are going to be looking at, of course, the 2017 Bowman Chrome Aaron Judge. Now, the 2013 did actually crack the top 10. The 2017 Bowman Chrome Variation obviously cracked the top 10. But if you are in the market for a beautiful Aaron Judge card, I think this is the most aesthetically pleasing, modern-day looking Aaron Judge card that is out there. This card is now selling for over $200 in a PSA 10 grade. Population is right around that 14, 1500 range. Uh, just a beautiful card. Batting image. Uh, I just love this year's Bowman Chrome. Looks very, very clean beautiful uh, i like it better than the tops chrome i talked about that in the hot list this card also made my hot list you can see just how this card has had some variability over time but it is trending upwards right around that 200 hundred dollar mark which to me is phenomenal um, if we go back to the population report we can see right at 1457 248 nine so this is a very 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 easy grade out there just so long as the surface is clean and you're really dotting your eyes crossing your teens t's because these cards were cut clean now let's see if the psa of 2022 and 2023 continues to grade these cards clean expect this population to jump up to over 2500 baby as soon as aaron judge breaks this record and every card with an Aaron judge name on it gets submitted to psa for grading to maximize that money um but this is a card I, it doesn't matter if it gets up to 2500 it's still probably going to be one that's going to be sought after. Okay, now we jump into the number one card on the list. And we are going back to a super short print. This is a super short print that, yes, indeed, I graded back in the day. There's only seven PSA 10s of these. And I just got to think, there's so many New York fans out there. And there are so many high-end collectors in the market now. These cards have to be potential treasures down the road now Aaron Judge may not necessarily be an all-time great with the names of let's say Babe Ruth or Mickey Mantle 
But there is a path to get him into the Hall of Fame. And if he becomes a Hall of Fame member and he breaks the Yankee record or Roger Maris's record of 61 home runs, and he does end up getting maybe one or two chips as a Yankee over the next seven, eight years after signing a big fat contract. And let's say he actually gets 450, let alone, let's say 500 home runs. By golly, these cards are going to be monsters in the New York market, especially with the way sports cards have been trending. I'm not pumping these because I don't own these cards anymore. I'm pumping them for the fact that these are true investment vehicles in the event that that Aaron Judge's career plays out and pops because there's not that many of them out there, seven of them. And I graded the opening day uh, card number two on this list and card number one. I graded just about every card on this list with the exception of the update. So I'm very familiar with them and I have graded them as PSA 10s. These are going to be true investment vehicles. In my opinion, from sports cards, if you want to gamble and roll the dice on Aaron Judge's career, if Aaron Judge's career pays off, this card right here is going to be a very valuable card one day. Um, I'm, I'm just saying, I don't have one. I don't know anyone that has one. I wish that I had the one that I graded back in the day. Um, I remember someone telling me on eBay, yep, you shouldn't sell this. Shouldn't sell it. It's going to be worth something. And yes, Aaron Judge got hurt many years uh, after I sold it. So I was like, hey, <laughs> probably won't be worth anything but now that he's about to break some records yeah this card might actually be worth something especially if he stays healthy and hits about 35 40 45 50 bombs a year and gets to 500 and becomes a yankee legend yes this card has all the ingredients in terms of being a true investment vehicle so Hopefully you guys like this video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Did I get this right? Did I miss anything on your all's in? Again, this is not autographs. We are looking only at rookie cards in high grade. So this is going to be predominantly dominated by variation super short prints and the honorable mention base cards that I covered. So let me know what you all think down below and we will see you guys next time.